Howdy. It's a Thursday hat after the drill show today. Oh, we forgot to tease it on the uh, program. Yeah, I we don't promote like, it very well. I feel like we need to start promoting it if I'm going to be a part of we it. We might skyrocket the peak viewership past 15 if we start promoting it on the award-winning drill program. I want to get the numbers up. It's great to be along with you, uh, Thank you Dan. Beef. It's great this to is have your you. ditty, so yeah. I'll follow you. This is my vehicle, Dan. This is your vehicle to be heard, now, where we always talk over you on the radio program Today, you, and during after the drill, you're allowed to talk over me. That's true. Thank you. Uh, now, a lot of the conversation today, Dan, revolved around... Do it to me one more time. The Captain and Tenille. Never enough. We enjoyed it, too. With At least you and I did. Like, uh, Jeff got very angry about why? the Captain and Tenille playback. Love Captain and Tenille. He seemed aggravated. Yes. Especially when Muskrat Love was playing. He got very upset. Muskrat Susie, Muskrat Sammy. Here's he, what I, I he assume. disparaged Daryl Dragon. Somewhere in Prosser's adolescence, something bad happened to him with Muskrat Love on Yeah, the I think little Muskrat Susie shut him down. Right. Because he was right. trying to make like a move. He was making on a move and he got shut down. So mm -hmm. now Muskrat Love brings up some uh, some dark, painful memories for Jeff. <laughs> uh, yeah, we were talking about Leonard Fournette today. Yes. And, I mean,. Do you feel like it's inevitable that the, that the team and Fournette part ways? Or do you feel like there's still a crack, a sliver for some kind of reconciliation? I, I, if I was a betting man, I think he might be on the roster in September. But it wouldn't, obviously, because of all the things that have happened where Tom Coughlin, who very rarely talks, felt the need to put out a statement yes. where they confirmed that they took away uh, uh, some of the bonus money. Um, those type of things that the organization has let out, uh, so therefore I would not be shocked if that's all setting up for the inevitable departure of Leonard Fournette. With that said, maybe it's a last gasp attempt to reach Leonard Fournette and say, hey man, Look, dude, we need you, but you got you can't, you can't you can't march to the beat of this different drummer, dude. I mean, they're desperate for the light bulb. You can't off. you can't be Antonio Brown, especially if you don't have the talent of Antonio right. Brown. I would like to see Leonard on the Mass Singer, though. Leonard might be good on the Mass. He singer. might be good on the Mass Singer. He's, He's very moves. good on the Gram. He is good on the Gram. That's, That's his, the one thing. He is a Pro Bowler Grammar. He is a legendary. Might be Hall of Fame Instagram. Yeah, but everywhere else, not so much. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, it, do you? I mean, we're still early on, mm -hmm. but based on the track record at this point, would you want to give it another go with Fournette? Based on talent versus production versus distraction, you know, the Baselli equation? Well, yeah, we have so many different needs that I'm not, I would like to give it a go, but I don't know how much of a pain in the ass he was day to day. And yeah. if it was, if We've it heard was, stories. yeah, there's obviously, he's obviously a pain in the A, Yeah. but if it's overwhelming... Right. And I'm over it, and it, that's kind of what you kind of got the feel of with the organization. Then I could understand that. Then I could understand that. Adam Fournette never was the light for Jags. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure what that means. Mm -hmm. Has always had issues, even at LSU. That's true. Yes. There's always been red flags. I go back to this, Adam, and and and, and everyone. Five guys, running backs, taken in the top ten in the last few years, right? Mm -hmm. I take any of the other four right now in a New York Z, second. Saquon. Yeah. McCaffrey. McCaffrey. Gurley. Gurley. Yeah. <laughs> and we got Leonard. And we got Leonard. So at this point, we got the lemon, and they all got the Lamborghinis. Yeah, that's not great. You know, or our Lamborghinis a lemon. Yeah. One or the other. I guess the only thing I would ask you, and if it happens, it happens, but, uh, and, and we, were, we were talking about this this morning, will Leonard Fournette ever have a better year? Than he did his rookie season. I mean, you certainly hope so. What do you guys think? Especially if you're going to keep him around. Yeah. You know, if that's the high water mark, then no. Mm -hmm. But uh, yeah, it's. You know what I think too for after the drill, by the way? I think we got to do. Besides the, the hats? Besides the hats. Which is, are very nice. Yeah, I think we're going to do a couple, couple shirtless ones. Sure. What do you think? Teats out. Yeah. yeah and I not. think, I also think that maybe. Maybe we'll, save that one for Jeffro. Maybe we'll go outside. I'd like to go outside. And I'd do a couple shows from the outside. The out of doors. Yeah. Take so it on I, the road. I think there's a lot of potential for after the drill. Sure. You know, as we converse back Start and forth. Start selling after the drill remotes. Talk about the program right now. What do you guys think? What are, what is, what are they saying? Uh, I can't skins see versus blouses. That's a old Dave Chappelle reference. Yeah. Uh, how is Keenan McCardell keeping his job? Well, because I'll I mean, tell you why. It's I, tough to be a wide receiver coach with no receivers. 
I, well, and, yeah, and that's a fair question. But last year we we hailed Keenan McCardell as a great coach because he was getting the best out of a bunch of nobodies. This year the nobodies went back to being nobodies, and you know, we led the league in drops. But I mean, the guy can't put glue on their hands, right? You know, when you turn around and the ball's there, catch the dang thing. Well, the bottom line is it's not a great group. Uh, you know, and I, I get a lot of, on the text line, Dan, mm-hmm. a lot of people bring up Allen Robinson. And like you've said time and time again, you got to stop beating that drum. He didn't want to be here, y'all. Not only that, but he yeah. wasn't that great this year. Right. He didn't have a great year, and he didn't want to be here. So it wasn't a case of the team. It's always brought up as a failure for the team by not retaining Allen Robinson. Yeah. There was an attempt made. No, I, I agree. He didn't I, want to be here. Yeah, I don't, I don't think, I don't think, and I don't think he should have paid him. Right. Listen. Um, you want to tie up the money for him? I, I don't know. I, I, he didn't have a go look up yeah. his numbers. They're not that much better than Dante Moncrief, quite honestly. So, and he had a better guy throwing him the ball. So, and he's beat up and hurt again. He's hurt this week as he tries to get ready right. for the playoffs. It's not game. a guarantee he'll play against uh, Philly this week. Yeah, yeah, so. he's, he's beat up. It's, uh, but look, I mean, the group they have is not great. They're going to have to address that, whether it's mm-hmm. free agency or, uh-huh. or the draft. They, I think they made a panic signing when they brought Marquise Lee back. I think they saw the the. Free agent market thinning out real yeah, fast. Yeah. And they panicked there. Uh, you know, we hope Lee can come back healthy. But, but we don't know that either. Keelan we... Cole regressed dramatically. Uh, DJ Chark didn't quite show out Ugh. as much as you would have liked him to. No. I mean, D.D. Westbrook was uh, it. was as advertised, but that was it. That was it. That was it. That's and all we got. More. Um, I'd change them all besides him. Yeah. I mean, I'd, I'm willing to. I wouldn't be opposed to it. Depending for sure. on who else, who's available. Right. I can't just. I'm not just going to cut everybody, but, no, but if I got better players, I'm going to bring them in and say, hey, you have to make the team, Chief. Now, uh, uh, are you in the same camp as Jeff? I think you are just based on the conversation we we're having today. Yes. Uh, that it's just, it's so early to start making any kind of declarative statements about the quarterbacks in this draft. Oh, yeah. You know, that we're, we're so far off. There's did you so fart? Much, I did not fart in here. It does smell in here. Someone farted in this room. I don't know who. There's a serious, there's a, there's a funk in the air. I can taste it. Is that ketchup? Is that onions? <laughs> okay, this is weird now. It is, was. I thought is it was cool. Pam or pan? Pam. Pam. Two ends. Okay. Pan. I'm sorry. What were you saying? <laughs> <laughs> it's just that it's it's we're we're way too far off from the draft to start making any kind of declarative statements about these quarterbacks. Yeah. Um, do I think we all? Yeah, think because look, last year at this time, Baker Mayfield, who was the number one pick and the best first rounder, and the best quarterback, was at a late first rounder, and he was moving up at that point. Yeah. And and guys like you know we talked about Mason Rudolph was considered a you know fringy mid first round pick, yeah. and he ended up going third round. Yeah. So I, I can't wait to see. Done. I can't wait to see the work on Daniel Jones and Will Greer and those right. guys. We haven't. Had, Maybe those guys will be better than we think. Yeah. Maybe they won't. I we don't know. Had, we haven't had the combine. We haven't had those private meetings. Uh, we haven't had pro days. We haven't had a lot of things that really start to, you know, yeah. f- separate the crowd. Can we just find one good quarterback, please? Can we just hit one guy? Just Can we just get one Hall of Famer, please? One, like, just one. Just one. I don't even need a Hall of Famer. Can I just get a Hall of Very Gooder? If we can build around him, that'd be fine. I'd be fine with a Hall of Very Mark Gooder. Mark Brunel is a Hall of Very Gooder. He's a Hall of Very Gooder. I'd be good with a Hall of Very Gooder. Yeah. You know? What else are the boys saying? Uh, I don't know. So who's the Jags? QB the Jags go after in the draft. No. That's what it's, it's hard to say. Yeah, Haskins is the one. Yeah, there's wants. true pocket passers. Haskins a true pocket passer. Yeah. I think Daniel Jones is a true yeah. pocket passer. Greer. There's true Greer's a true pocket passer. But yeah. again, uh, you know, who knows with Greer? West Virginia numbers are so hard to. Is there a Kurt Warner anywhere? We get could him? there be a Kurt Warner? Anyway. Is there a sleeper guy? Is there yeah. a Tom Brady in the sixth round? We can grab. That would be perfect. That'd be good if we can get the greatest player of all time in the sixth round. We tried it last year with Tanner Lee. It didn't work out. I would be uh, excited. <laughs> <laughs> we could, we got to keep trying six round QBs and try to find the next Brady. Mm-hmm. Uh, Tanner Lee didn't work out, but maybe we'll find another one this year. All right. Best wishes. What else? And champagne wishes. What else happened in the show today? Caviar dreams. Huh? Uh, that was about it. That was about it. That was about it. Okay. Yeah. A lot of Jag talk we did. A lot of Jag talk. It's some NBA talk. A little NBA talk. A little bit about the uh, the disaster of the college football championship game in Santa Clara. Yeah, that's kind Not of a dumb. good spot. Yeah, we looked at the next five locales, and yeah. they're all much better spots. Yeah. College football One's life. in L.A., though. I still think L.A. is not a great spot. L.A. is not a great spot, but as, as a destination and, and easy travel. Like, I would like the Gators to get to that one because that would be a fun one to go to. Again, uh, L.A. would be a good one. Indy's a little... Yeah. I like, yeah. For a college football destination. Uh, Big Ten country. But I it's guess. Big Ten country, and, and again, it's a lot easier uh, for the Googans, the college football Googans in the South, yes. to get to Indy than it is to get out to Santa Clara. Although our friend Kevin chimed in and he's Kevin. very defensive about Santa Clara. Seems like he's a Santa Clara guy. Yeah. Uh, Kevin. No, we're not gonna we're not gonna read that out loud, Kevin. <laughs> That's 
rude. You wake up that's there, rude, and that's clown. Foul language. We don't hey, ass anything. clown. Yeah. Out. Suck it. <laughs> Chump. <laughs> On that note. It's time to end. It's time to end before we get vulgar. You got to give a little tip of the cap. Tip of the cap. It's like we're walking off. Happy trails, my ladies. It's like we're walking off the mound after a seven inning performance where we gave up three hits. Tip one, tip one of the as the crowd goes wild. We That's love after you. the drill. I like Bye. how you get up there and get.